Apple. Right now, I wish I was sitting at the top of a tree, looking out over a meadow, cider in hand. <sighs> Gliding. Think you can get away? Teamwork is dreamwork! Yeah. <laughs> Moments of birth! Adventure time! Attaboy! <laughs> Who wants some of this?
Ad Astra Abyssa. Eggman252, thank you for rating me. How's everyone doing? <sighs> Are you gonna judge my game? No. <laughs> oh, well, this you realm said you is rated, truly so thank beginning you. to thrive. <laughs> Either way. Oh, thanks for the follow too. Appreciate it. How are you doing? I need lots of money. If you ever have it <sighs> we need so much money. Because I wanna up um then it power. And it costs like a kajillion dollars. I'm almost there. Two hundred thousand more. like 300 fish. You can never have too much. Better to have it, not need it. What if one day we run into some NPC and he's like, hey, you have like me. 200 fish you can give me? Be set. Oh, I guess I already have it. And I don't want to. It tastes gross. Yeah, you're only getting my uh my regular stuff. You're not getting the special. <laughs> I have some almond tofu for you that I made like months ago. I'm sure it's still fine. It's only been sitting in my pocket this whole time. Just pick the lint off of it. But I 
don't want to. It tastes gross. While we're here, we can get some ore too. Since I've got it marked. Come to be. Witness my great undertaking. Here we go. Let's roll. Might as well make the most of our trip. Wouldn't gliding be faster? me. Oh my god, we're, our resin's almost capped. I just saw that, 159. Can't catch me! I always accidentally get on the elevator. 
without fail. I'm probably not the only one. Can't catch me. Astra Abyss. Add Astra Abyss. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Thank you. Probably nowhere close. Mm, about a hundred thousand, a little over a hundred thousand away. Um, okay, we need to deal with this resin situation. until we hit our goal, which I think, I think we should only need to do one with our condensed resin, but I'm horrible at math, so I might be telling fibs. Oh, oh you're coming through! Think you can get away? Coming to be. Feel the same trick power. Attaboy! boy. Is that all you? Oh shit! I wasn't with my boys. I've let you down. Oopsie. Oh, I'm frozen. Oh my god, I'm getting fucked up. I am getting fucked up. Why do they never miss? Alright. Off we go. Do the fall with Bennett. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Oh, I think it's hurting right now. Let's light it up! Everybody stand back! First forth! Oh. Huh? Adventure time! Put your shield up. This my great undertaking. Ah, yes, son of a. Oh, okay. Never mind. Must have do that real easy. I thought that was gonna take a lot more effort. Alrighty, we got our asses kicked. Off we go. Let's go heal. Do we have enough? Yes. This is my first ever crown. Max level reached. I thought you could go up to 13. Who, what do I know? 
I know nothing about crowning, so maybe it can only go up to 10. I don't know, I'm kind of an idiot, so uh... Adventure time! If anyone watching knows, let me know. Okay, now we are going to do some artifacts. I kind of actually want to make some more condensed resin. First. Usually there's always people doing this domain. Oh, I don't think I did my login thing today. In rewards. Excuse me. I condemn you. The one that has the three guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You be Animo, I'll be Geo. That works. I don't think we need more than one Animo people person. All right, team, go over there. Or not? Can't catch me. Oh shit, did I lock someone out? I did. Oops. Should we really be off work this early? There is still a lot left to do.
<laughs> oh, I like tossing the cow off the edge. Good. I usually have fairly decent luck with artifact drops, but I don't know, the past couple days I've been getting nothing. Something better. Okay, that's not bad. I'm tempted to keep this just for the electro damage bonus, but like the freaking sub stats are so bad. Coming through. What did I tell you? 
tell you, every single time I start doing my charge attack, they disappear. Without fail. Time to go. It's a good nature. Can't catch me. Let's go. Behind schedule. Need noblest pieces. Okay, that's not bad. Uh crit damage, so yeah, we'll keep it. Substats suck, but crit damage. Somebody head now. Uh, make some more condensed, but I'll start matchmaking while I do that. Attaboy! Oh, damn, he got some distance. <laughs> that was a good one. like a complete set on my um on my um whoever this guy Let's <laughs> Bennett I couldn't remember his name for a sec I already have a complete set but I'm hoping to get um, a couple of better pieces that one better? Is Emblem of Severed Fate better? I thought Noblesse was the one that Bennett needs. Can't catch me. I mean regardless, I need I need shitty artifacts too to level up good ones on other people. Yeah, for Bennett. I <laughs> when I said this one, I was trying to throw my cow at the Bennett, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember his name. Some of this. Let's light it up. Solidify. No, for Ito, I have the uh, teamwork is 
Teamwork. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember artifact names, but the the one that makes Geo better. Not not the one that improves Geo, but uh, gives you better defense. Let's light it up. Everybody stand back. We have order. It's showtime. The one that's making me have those numbers. Yeah. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> so strong. Yeah, my Edo's not half bad. My cow's pretty strong. Throw my cow at him. He usually gets like 20, 30, 35 sometimes I see. 46? Oh, that's probably because I was in my big dick mode. I also have my uh, wolf straight stone on. What? Okay, I was stuck for a second. <laughs> My big dick mode, yeah, that's that's what I call my special. <laughs> In the R talking game? I'm not getting good stuff for the person I want. I did have, um, I did have a defense weapon on him before. I had this one, the white blind, but, uh, I decided to switch to Wolf's Gravestone because I was getting better attack numbers. Even though he, he has, you know, he should be defense, but, I mean, my defense with him is pretty good. Just with the, um... Yeah, I, I don't get gladiator stuff. Um, I don't get the billets for it, so I can't get it to R5. If I do get it to R5, it'll probably be better. A blade embraces its duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. But I'm getting way better numbers with my um, wolf's gravestone. Okay, huh? banjo, if you decline this time, <laughs> we're starting. And plus, with the artifacts I have on him, he's got pretty beefy defense anyway. Because I have, um... I have this one, which is defense percent. And, like, all of his other stuff has defense stuff on it, too, so... Are we missing someone else? Oh, no, you're already in here. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's roll! Let's light it up! Let's light it up. This wolf's gravestone, though, that's the only five-star weapon I've ever gotten. But I never, um, I never pull on the weapon banner. Farm for refinement. How do you even do that? Don't you just, uh? Off we go. Just do the, um. The weekly? Isn't that like the only way you get those? Is from the weekly bosses? Time for takeoff. Let's go. Is there another way to get Phyllis? Because I mean, if there's an easier way to get them, I'm all about that life. <laughs> Let's light it up. I don't have any more gold material? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Prototype gold materials from the weekly. Isn't that what the billets are? I thought they were called billets. Uh, that one's okay-ish. I think you get some from Inazuma Tree or the Sigil Shop. Um, I've already gotten everything I can from the Sigil Shops. Um, and the, I've I've gotten the Sakura Tree up to full, so. 
I probably already used him. Think you can get away? Um, I'm running. I can show you after this. I'm trying to get a healing bonus helm. The hat. And a... Um... Everybody stand back! An energy recharge. We go. Got a uh, hand, I think. Whichever one does energy recharge percent. <laughs> Time for takeoff. Because right now I just have HP stuff on him. Which isn't bad, but I would rather have um, the other stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I have on him right now, but I I don't have anything energy recharged on him, except for substats and my sword. But I saw somebody, um, I saw a video that Techstone has done where he talked about doing a, a healing percent helmet and an energy recharge stance and a HP, um, cuff, I think. Maybe I'm getting that wrong. <laughs> Basically have one that's energy recharge, one that's HP, and one that's healing bonus, and that that's the best. So that's what I'm trying to get. Did somebody leave? No? I just didn't see her. I think this will be my last run in here, and I can show you what I have on him right now. I just, um, crowned his, uh, burst. <laughs> My first ever crown. Let's light it up! <laughs> Think you can get away? Can't catch me! Oh my god, that's not even Let's hitting anyone. Brace yourself! That didn't hit anyone either. I took. Oh, suck it. <laughs> Should probably fight the one that they're fighting. My apologies. Yeah, they got it. Time for takeoff. Who wants some of this? Light it up. Forty-four. Yeah, I saw that forty-four. Of course, that's inside of a Bennett thing. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Can't catch me. Okay, so, right now, he's got an HP sand, HP cup, and an HP helm. So I want to try to get a healing bonus helm instead. Um, and 
energy recharge on one of these two. Whichever one can do energy recharge. I forget which one is which, but that's what I'm trying to do. Because right now I just have three HPs. So strong. <laughs> and he's got this sword on him, which has the energy recharge. But um, I don't know if this sword has the highest base attack. I feel like if I upgraded some of these other swords that there'd probably be one that had a better base attack that I could give to him instead. And if I had an energy recharge artifact, then it wouldn't I wouldn't really necessarily need this sword on him. It is the highest out of what I got. Cause people were also saying um all far stars are five ten. Okay. Somebody was saying that, like, the Favonius sword, this one, would be good. Which, I mean, it has energy recharge on it, too, so. But this one is R5, and this one will only ever be R1, because I didn't do the event. So this one, this uh, Favonius sword, might be better, honestly, if I leveled it up. But like I said, regardless, I still need fodder for, um, for other people. You like using Favonius, but you think it's lower? Uh... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And I'm out of money. Alright, let's try this thingy again. Actually, before we do that, let's go to this fool. I think I only have one more chest to get from this. Estimate the beetle. He can be some of the toughest little guys around. I actually have like a cheat sheet that I've been doing <laughs> where I uh, I will mark out the holes. Oh, Favonius is 454. Okay, so that one would be better to do then. So I need to start leveling that puppy up. Yeah, so I have a cheat sheet that has all the holes and I mark which ones are safe and which ones aren't safe. So last time I played, before he kicked me out, this one should be safe. Yeah. This one should not be safe. And that's as far as I got. Your festering is 510 though, its attack is higher. Oh! Am I dumb? Oh. <laughs> I am dumb. <laughs> For some of the reason I was thinking 454 was more. I was thinking that one was 410. Okay, that one is safe. The 56 attack isn't noticeable though. And that other one had like a crit hit thing. Okay, that one is bad. It'll maybe increase attack bonus by like maybe a hundred, so a twenty-nine versus a three thousand. Meh. Do you think the the sword I have on him right now is probably the best one then? I just wish I'd I'd actually tried in that um, event and gotten it R five. That was back when I wasn't really playing this game seriously, though. Can't catch me. You have a R5 fe festering. You still use R5 Favonius. So why do you like the Favonius better then? 
Is it just because of the crit, the the substats on it, the uh, the crit chance thing? Does more skill damage. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea where this treasure is. Is better energy recharge and it helps the team and not just Bennett. Oh, is the energy recharge on that more? Because this one's 45.9. Does it give more than to be leveling that baby up then. On Bennett? <laughs> it's probably balls. Uh, Benny's adventure team <laughs> 31. <laughs> 3185. Because I wasn't really paying attention to those stats because I don't really use him to fight unless I'm... Unless he's the only character I have available. Level up your Favonius weapons, they make the team more fluent. Okay. It's better than my 27. I probably could get it better. I have enough Noblest stuff now. But I don't want to be like... Leveling up artifacts that I don't necessarily need to be, because it just takes so much... So much stuff. <laughs> Can't catch me. left to check, so... <coughs> it's okay if then it doesn't crit, because while you use a skill shot, you can auto as well as crit chance to get the white orbs and then switch to whoever needs the energy recharge. You're the expert. I just click buttons and things happen. <laughs> Damn, I don't know if I'm gonna get this chest today. I don't think I have a lot of more retries. This might be my last le retry. Can't catch me. I only have four more holes I can check that I haven't checked yet. Make that three. Two. Okay, if it's not this one, then... Okay, I'm confused. Does this, like, change each time? Am I stupid? Am I dumb? Do I even need to ask that? Because the answer is 100% yes. Okay, this one was safe last time. And now it's not safe. Damn, the shit must change then. Hmm. Didn't get it today. Better luck next time. I 
thought that it would stay the same each time you tried back again. that hydromimic boar oh I didn't know what that that blue ball was okay so hmm Tea might be better for the second half. Oh shit, are they wanting me to do electro people? Because that's all the trial people they have up here. Oh, all characters in the party gain a 40% electro damage bonus. I did not read that, obviously. Well, I'm glad they let me pick some people because I have no strong Electro characters. 100% none. Yeah, I've been doing the web event. I didn't do it today yet. I should probably send them out. Send them out on their expedition, but I need to re-log in. Because it, it logged me out. <clears throat> Oh shit, no, I wanted Venti in the second one, didn't I? The web event seems way slower and laggier than the other ones. Um, I don't think I've noticed that being an issue. I don't really know how to use Kujo Sara. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't really know how to use her. I didn't want that. I wanted this. Okay. Elemental skill, elemental mastery, elemental burst. Probably elemental skill. I don't know really what I'm doing. I'm just slapping shit on, hoping for the best. I don't know if this is good. Actually, I should probably not. I should probably put you. I don't know. Oh. I didn't do this. We're just going to do the same thing. And hope for the best. Okay, you. I don't know how to use you. Glory to the Shogun! Glory to the Shogun. Uh, Fuck. All hail! Right here. Emerge. I'm always watching. I don't really know how to use you either. I don't need to be doing this, but you know what? I'm just fucking panicking, pushing buttons. Yeah. 
I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> These are characters I don't play as. I think this has something to do with like when I shoot, I think. You're saying nice too, but I don't think I'm doing anything that fantastic, but I will take it. Nothing lasts forever. Born of ice and frost. All hail. I mean, we got to level two. Flash. Emerge right here. Glory to the Shogun. I'm literally just spamming ult. Like, I don't even know. Emerge, right here. What a nuisance. Emerge. <laughs> Born of ice and frost. All good, fun team though, right? <laughs> Except for this bitch. I don't know what her power is, really. I mean, obviously it's Electro, but like, I don't know how to use it in a conducive way. Which I actually have her, but I never play as her. Rebuild. Making more team comps make Genshin staleness better. Thank yeah, that's you. why I've been trying to do this, um... My kind of Geo build. With Edo. No and Albedo. Hey, I got to level 4. Glory to the so that's something. That's something. I will have order. Oh, and it keeps it to the second half. Hell yeah. Can get away? I'm alright with that. Illusion shattered. I really don't know how to use Raiden. I have her, but I've never really touched her. I assume you just spam her button. Spam shit. And things happen. As you wish, Lady Toy Life. Use the first, the first last. I'm frozen. Order guide Time for takeoff. I don't know, I kinda like my method of just spam shit and things happen. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. I will have order. Think you can get away? Shine down. Now you shall perish. You said use it last. I don't know if I don't know if that is what last means. <laughs> <laughs> Basically just waiting a second and using it. <laughs> Time for takeoff. <laughs> Wings of darkness. Come, sever night from death. Illusion shattered. Use her purple circle is lit all the up all the way. Is it lit up all the way? I'll assume it's lit up. <laughs> That's all right. I think all we need to do is get 2,000 for gold, and we're well past that now, so we should be good. We should. Be good. <laughs> think you can get away? By royal decree, shine down. Her circle isn't lit unless you use everyone else's first. Oh my God, that's way too much goddamn. That's way too much goddamn thinking. Okay, I used everyone's first, so it must be lit. <laughs> there is no escape. You're probably just like, oh my god. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, we got gold. You know, that's all I care about. I don't care about how shitty we do to get there as long as we get there. Can't do anything else.
Can we get more resin though? Yes, we can. Close your eyes, get some. You didn't see anything. I know you guys hate when I use my primos <laughs> for resin. Money. We need money. Can't catch me. <laughs> Can't catch me. like I know what I'm doing. Um, fuck it, let's use our condensed. It's my lucky day. Let's get Excuse me. <laughs> the game is easy. Of birth. It just makes me look good Everybody when I kill things. Back. And really, it's just me doing a bunch of button mashing <laughs> and hoping for the best. <laughs> Oh, 52, hell yeah! Look at that! Look at that! What was he doing? I was leveling your artifact. Ito is my strongest. Uh, he probably is, to be fair, at this point in time. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat what you just said. <laughs> See, now you guys can't make fun of me for using him. Well, Katsu, mainly. He's my strongest character. I think that's everything on you. Who else needs... Did I get everything leveled on you? I think I did. Who else needs a boost? I guess all my main people are boosted now. So now I need to start working on someone else. I did want to start getting you leveled. I also wanted to start leveling Sayukaya and um, Shangling. I should probably do you, though. I literally don't have any good... Electro people. What is this thing called? Emblem of Severed Fate. There it is. Okay, yeah, this is definitely my, my, my best one.
just like that. We ran out of stuff. Um, your weapon. <laughs> we don't have the money. We ran out of money again. I almost have enough money, actually. I'm not too far off. You know what I can do to Best get enough money? I bet. I bet, I bet, I bet. <laughs> Hello. Take my sigils. Now we have money. Teapot Mora? I already got that. <laughs> I already got that today. <laughs> I don't have any left. Ooh, definitely don't have enough. Alright. Well, now I guess... We do main story, like the title says. Because that's literally all I can do now. <laughs> Can't catch me! Hello. Hi there! You must be Yuihoi, right? We've been sent by the Adventurer's Guild. Ah, great. Good to meet you. Yes, I was the one who posted that commission. I already forgot what the commission was for. You look kind of familiar. Are you a famous adventurer or something? Oh, uh, all right, but I'll start by introducing myself. I'm Yuehue, a miner, and I received a mining permit for the chasm just recently. I have a handful of other guys in my crew. Seriously? They actually give permits out for the chasm? Yes, the folks over at Yujing Terrace finally nice came to mustache. their senses and are now allowing a limited amount of ore mining near the surface. We were among the first to gain approval, but some things have happened recently that put all the miners on edge. Really? What happened? We haven't heard anything. So, it's hard to say exactly how big of an issue it is. It could be something, could be nothing. The main thing is that it's just very strange. While one of the miners was on a break, he suddenly noticed a few hilly trolls walking his way. They seemed like they were in a daze or something. They walked right by him without giving him a single glance. They just made a beeline for the depths of the chasm. After that, the miner started observing his surroundings more closely and noticed the same thing happening time and time again. Hmm. Maybe they're having they a party. Are they just curious? Maybe they just want to take a peek inside. <sighs> Not likely. The strange part is that in all of the time this miner has been watching the hilly trolls, He's never seen any of them come back out. Dun, dun, dun. It seems to be eaten. a one-way trip. Once the hilly trolls go in, they never emerge again. And it seems to be happening more and more frequently as of late. What are these hilly trolls up to? What happens to them after they go inside? Is there a disaster brewing? I don't know. Why don't these you These are the kinds of thoughts going through the guys' heads now. Everyone's driving themselves crazy worrying about it. Exactly. The deepest fear is the fear of the unknown, you know? So we have to get to the bottom of it before everyone can put their minds at rest. Uh, <laughs> do we... Do we really want to take this commission? Um, thanks, Mr. Miner! Sir! Hey! You can at least pretend to consider Paimon's opinion first! Hmm. Oh, so that's where you're coming from! Hmm. Well, okay then. Maybe we will find some clues about your twin. You'll really regret it if you don't go, huh? So, what's your verdict? Will you take the commission? No pressure, but I gotta say, I'm not loving the prospect of my mining permit going to waste. I just said I'll yep, take it. we'll take it. We're kinda curious ourselves now, too. Oh, great. You're doing me an enormous service here. Now, let me give you the rough location that the hilly trolls keep heading to.
The stony hallway. going on in the chasm really is connected to the abyss order oh we gotta get to the bottom of this uh, oh hmm. hey what up the feeling is mutual I certainly hadn't expected to meet you here either long time no see Dane wait but how did you suddenly end up here in the chasm the chasm? So we're in the depths of the chasm, are we? Interesting. This is one place where I have never set foot before. I understand how you must feel. Last time we met suddenly and parted hastily. Now our paths cross again. Fate, it seems, owes you an explanation. That much should be self-explanatory. I came upon the trail of another Abyss Herald recently and began pursuing it. Unfortunately, I got as far as cornering him before he resorted to the same trick that they all do. I was hot on his heels when I followed him through the portal, but as usual, it was to no avail. It took me to the wrong place. Correct. Based on my recent experiences, I can only conclude that the Abyss's portals are not simply pathways from point A to point B gateways to an entire network. Where they emerge on the other side is their choice. It can be anywhere within the network. Sounds kind of similar to how teleport waypoints work. In short, though I was right behind your twin last time when I entered that portal, the next moment that I realized where I was, I was all alone, back in the ruins known as Storm Terror's Lair. It's in a safe place. You can be sure that I will learn the truth of the Loom of Fate operation sooner than it could ever fall into the Abyss Order's hands. Huh. So that title stuck in your memory. I by no means went out of my way to conceal it from you. It once stood for the glory of Kanria, but now it is but a cruel joke. My curse to bear. Twilight Sword was my title as Captain of the Royal Guards, when I witnessed the destruction of my entire homeland firsthand. I believe my reluctance to raise it in conversation is quite justified. Sounds like your brother was right. We were travel partners. We both partook in a painful journey of searching for our fate. But regrettably, we did not make it to the journey's end together. Before you continue questioning me, I ought to warn you. If my suspicions regarding the portal network are correct, then the fact that there is a portal leading here tells us that the Abyss Order has their eyes on this location. You mean, the Abyss Order is plotting something here? Actually, Paimon and the Traveler suspected that too! I mean that it's highly likely that even as we speak, the Abyss Order is watching our every move. <gasps> Don't say that! You're giving Paimon goosebumps! <laughs> A wise choice. Hmm. There appears to be light from a fire coming from near that rocky wall. Let's take a look. Catch me! Hmm. There are signs of hilly 
churl activity here. Could these be the hilly churls the requester was talking about? Requester? In fact, hold on. You still haven't told me what you're doing here. I doubt that most travelers would have any reason to venture down this way. We took a commission from the Adventurers Guild to investigate the chasm. Apparently a whole load of hilly churls have been gathering here, and the requester wants to know why. And now it looks like we finally found our first clue. Do you want the answer? Huh? You mean, you know something about this? As it happens, I do. It's understandable that you did not perceive anything unusual. What makes this place so strange is that the environment here weakens the effect of the curse. For centuries, I have suffered daily from the curse that was laid upon me. But here, I suddenly feel a small amount of relief from this suffering. And right here, right now, I can feel my body sending a strong message to me. It is telling me, stay. So, this place weakens the curse? That's pretty incredible. But how? That I shall need to investigate. But to the best of my knowledge, the Abyss Order does not have the technology to achieve this. Indeed. Do you know why Hilly Churls wear masks? Nope. It's to hide their appearance, lest they catch sight of their reflection in a body of water. Compared to how they remember themselves, it is a terrible sight to behold. One that causes them great despair. The curse of immortality denies death to those afflicted with it. And yet, it does not truly mean that they will never die. So, you mean, there's a way to undo it? <sighs> no. I mean that the body and soul will continue to be eroded until they are virtually non-existent. Even if death is not the form that this erosion takes. When the Hillichurls realize that the end is nigh for them, it seems their instinct is to seek out a calm and dark corner of the world in which to finally say goodbye to the centuries of suffering they have endured. And of all the places they could lay down to rest, one that can ease the effects of their curse would surely be their first choice. Wow. That's so... Conversation's over. Brace yourselves. What is it? We're under attack. Down Black here. Serpent Knights. They once belonged to the Royal Guard of Kanria. Wait a second. Royal Guard? So, they used to be your troops? Yes, they were. But now, the curse engulfs them, and they fight with none of the honor they once had. Because they've become pawns of the Abyss now? Let's continue on. Seems we missed one. Wait, stand down. There's something different about this one. It's disappeared. What the heck? What was going on with that one? Was it trying to say something? How is this possible? 
How could he have retained self-awareness for 500 years without it? But more importantly, why did he seem so familiar? That would be a miraculous outcome indeed for a cataclysm that brought total doom and destruction. Hmm. Or perhaps it was just a coincidence. We should press onward to the city. So I didn't 100% follow what he was saying about the hilly trails. I think he was trying to say that they were human once, but they're cursed now. <laughs> Princess Mononoke. Oh, that movie's so good. Looks like there's a strange energy surrounding the city. We oh, wait, further. were you talking about this? <laughs> this story is like it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were just stating matter of fact that you were watching it. I do like that movie, though. Guess there should be a mechanism or something around here, right? Traveler? Looks like it's time to get into ruin exploring mode! Don't waste your time. Ooh, thank you. Huh? That makes my job easier. Conria's technology, abyssal power. Two things I couldn't be more familiar with. <laughs> They're just cheap tricks to me. Okay, so the Abyss Order really is trying to hide something here, right? Hmm. Dan seems like he really understands what's going on here. No wonder the Abyss Order doesn't want him around. Not necessarily. The closer we draw, the more I am inclined to conclude that these ruins belong to a more ancient civilization still. The Abyss Order simply got to them before anyone else. Even older than Kanria? Whoa. Iron can't even imagine back that far. That said, the architecture here does somewhat resemble that of Kanria. At least, it would if it were the other way up. Let's head toward the light over there. Mind your footing on the way ahead. It's a long way down. So how did everything get all topsy-turvy? Where they're based? Or wait, are they guarding something here? We are likely drawing near to whatever the Abyss Order is trying to hide. Let's take them out first. Come into be! Atta boy! I'm going in! Oh, coming through! Oh, I threw my cow the wrong way. I didn't realize that one was so close to dying. Hey, look! Vines! You should be able to climb up, right? I'm just making sure there's nothing hiding in here. No goodies. Can't catch me! Hold on, I think they... No thing. Ain't no thing. 
That was the last of them. Now, let's see what it was they were trying to hide. Can you literally not see that they're hilly trolls from here? What is this though? That's what I want to know. Treasure? No treasure. Huh? What's this? So, the Black Serpent Knights have nothing to do with the Abyss Order's secret. Huh. I should have guessed. So, what exactly is going on with these hilly churls? As I said, for these hilly churls, the end is nigh. They have grown old and fearful of the light, even become one with the darkness. And yet the curse continues to corrode them. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird that they even have, give her a voice actress if she never speaks. It's him! The guy that came out of nowhere and disappeared again! And now they're retreating! Did he just order them to do that? Why do we need Traveler to speak when we have Pymon to speak for us? Half Dan? Whoa, whoa! What? You recognize him? Could it be? If it's as I suspect, then this is a truly tragic state of affairs. Dang? You want to know why they were gathered here guarding the Hilly Churls, don't you? It's because, as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they're simply doing their duty. The one who ordered them to retreat just now, I suddenly recognized him. I knew him as a young man, an elite in the Royal Guard of old. His name is Halfdan. So, is his father he's from Dan? 500 years ago, too? To this day, I still remember the final orders. I, the Twilight Sword, Gave to Halfdan on the day of disaster in Kanria. Before I made haste back to the palace. Inform all Black Serpent Knights to protect the people of Kanria at all costs. Because we, of course, were royal guards. But this would mean nothing in the events that followed. Royals, gentry, common folk. These identities made no difference. Against the might of the gods. The only identity that mattered was being from Kanya. These Black Serpent Knights have lost their intellect. But perhaps, in whatever remains of their minds, they are still protecting the people of Kanria. If you see these ruins as Kanria in the throes of disaster, and these hilly churls as the people crying for help, then suddenly, I can make sense of what I'm hearing. Their growls are less of a threat, and more of a warning. Then, what are they saying? Though it is barely discernible, I can just about make it out. They keep repeating a word from the old language of Kanria. Run. Even I have to admit, the fact their will is strong enough to survive 500 years of erosion. It is nothing short of a miracle, born from hopelessness. Oh, so Paimon had them all wrong. It doesn't matter. Even I took them for enemies for a moment. Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. shouldn't disturb them. Attaboy! 
Here you go. Have a cow. Some entertainment for the end of your life. Why are you going up? Your thing is right over there. You goof. Okay. How do I do this? How do I do this? What the hell? How do I tell? How do I unlock this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know how I finally got it, but somehow. Ballad of the treasure chest? I have not heard the ballad, and you never sing it for me, so I probably never will. Hi. More hilly churls, and they look really well protected. Down in there. Ooh, it's a big one. It's a big one. I'll take it. Uh -uh. Have you heard the ballad of the treasure chest? I already answered that question. Upside down one. Yes. Yahoo! I didn't know if it wanted me to go down. 
think that's where we just were, though. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Hey, why so quiet? I'm just thinking, nothing more. If you're trying to console me, I can assure you there is no need. Kind of cool. Even the water pool is upside down. Oh, wow. This is a pretty amazing place. Dang, do you have any idea at all how it works? The pool must be part of the entire city structure. A relic of this ancient civilization. And more importantly, it is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. The effect is stronger here than it was before. And I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect. Cleansing? So that means the water in that pool can wash away the curse for good? No. That would be impossible. How are you so sure? I have lived with this curse for 500 years. And I have been fully conscious the entire time. Suffice to say, no one understands the curse like I do. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing it entirely, consider it tantamount to <clears throat> burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. Huh? Cleansing the curse cost you your life? Whoa. An irreversible curse! Paimon can't even imagine! 
In any case, I can feel that the water's cleansing effect is not nearly potent enough. At most, it might suppress the curse, but a little. <laughs> is that what you think is sad? Is that Dane's love friend is hotter than Ayaru? <laughs> Not the fact that he's cursed. Hmm. So, what's that contraption there? It looks kind of out of place. <laughs> Frankly, I have never seen a device of this design before either. It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the Abyss Order. But what could they be planning to do here? Clunk, clunk. Nice, uh, <gasps> subtitles. That gave Paimon a fright! So, all the doors are open now? Hey, Haftian. Uh, Haftian's back again! Haftan, do you have something to say to me? He's like, now I am full, Dan. He ran off! But he didn't disappear like last time. He's indicating that we should follow him. Are you coming? I mean, are we so sure that it's not a trap? Maybe I should try the lumen stone because there might be some stuff. Doesn't this search for ones that are close if I do that? fell down. Looks like Haftan disappeared at the far end of this path! Perhaps whatever lies ahead is what he wants us to see.
can't catch me. I'm not 100% certain what I'm supposed to be doing with that purple writing. I've seen it around. This attaboy, it's showtime. stone out it would disappear when I got it close. Maybe I'm not supposed to have my lemon stone on it. Can't catch me. look like they're in pretty bad shape, too. Some of them look like they've already taken their final breath. Is this what Haftan wanted to show us? Whether it is or not, everything here is worth investigating in detail. Inspect the area. Leave no stone unturned. think we have any happy memories with them. We've been murdering a lot along our journey. <laughs> Hilly trails usually store food in crates like these, right? But they seem pretty much empty. Is it because they're so near to the end that they don't need to eat anymore? Hmm. Even if they don't need to eat anymore, Paimon bets they still miss food for the flavor. There's even a bonfire here, like what Hilly Churros built in the wild. Wait, but wasn't Dane saying that Hilly Churros get scared of the light when they reach the very end of their lives? Hmm. Maybe, in the very, very end, they still want to feel some light and warmth. Oh. Uh, just thinking aloud here, uh, could also be another reason. How did that flower get this far underground? Did someone bring it in memory of the deceased hilly churros? Hey, now that you mention it, Paimon thinks it looks kind of familiar too. It is the national flower of Kanria, the Intivat. It once bloomed all over the nation. The Intivat? Get it? Because we're in Tavat. It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Kanria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Only when it finally returned to its home soil would the petals grow soft once more and finally turn to dust. So the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, <coughs> signifying the tenderness of the homeland. Oh. <gasps> I didn't know that. So for this flower to get here, it must have been brought from... Does that mean your brother's close?
Your Highness. So the proposal finally has your blessing. In focusing single-mindedly on confronting the heavenly principles, we neglected our original mission, the revival of the homeland. I should not have been so indecisive. The device is almost ready. We await your command. What are the chances of succeeding? Theoretically speaking, uh, approximately... Forget it. Even a 1% chance is enough. For too long have we dwelt in the Abyss. Surely they would rather return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as possible than continue to exist as they are, without a shred of dignity. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. The Order is most fortunate to be graced with your decision. Ether! We said something. You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? Yeah, you zoned out for quite a while there. Huh. Well, people do say that twins have a special connection. It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier. And... you say he mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hilly Churls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then, they will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. After all, there can be no nation without a people. <laughs> it is the height of foolishness. They have no chance of success, not even a 1% chance. I told you already that no one knows this curse better than I, having lived with it for 500 years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. So make sure you are clear in your mind. You have to tell yourself, they are no longer human. If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, the only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. Save your strength for something worth saving. Oh? <laughs> but of course, I am merely someone you hired for a task, while he is your brother. It is only natural for you to side with him. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My chosen path is to stop the Abyss. If we have reached an impasse, then perhaps this is where we should say... I see. It seems that the three questions I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Very well. Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the Abyss. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. Can't catch me! We can see the upside down. 
down city from here, too. Wait, watch out. What's going on? Is that light coming from the room in the center? It's too bright! The mutation is continuing. Has the abyss made its move already? Game Smith, I see your incessant meddling continues, and that you have once again joined forces with our Highness's kin. Regrettably, I was not in time to control your exit from the network, and it sent you here of all places. <laughs> this was a catastrophic error. Hmm. I am surprised that you dare to face me. You ran like a coward last time. Our Highness's will must be done. All interferences must be removed, whatever the price to pay. This time, the curse that torments our people must be undone, once and for all. You are the only ones who torment them. There is nothing else left of those hilly churls. Nothing besides the curse itself. Say what you wish. I am going nowhere, Dane's live. Then you will give your life just to delay the inevitable. How absurd. But since you wish to persist, then so be it! You really think you can use that device beneath the pool to cleanse this curse? Do not underestimate the ways of the abyss! Then I overestimated you. This plan is even cruder than I thought. Justice is futile. The end is now. Let's roll. For take off. Time. Here we go. Let's light it up. <laughs> That's gonna hurt in the morning. Burst forth. <laughs> Let's play. Here we go. Time. Everybody, stand back. Atta boy. <laughs> Moment of birth. Hope we got. Brace yourself. There's we no time him. to celebrate. The Abyss Order's device is activating, but there's still yeah, time to destroy it. All right, let's go! Thing's doing something now. Am I supposed to hop in here? Oh no. What? Look, the amplification device. Am I too late? 
They're in agony. This is no way for them to meet their end. Find a way to stop that thing. been turned to ashes in an instant. Half Dan's soul is extraordinarily resilient. He's become full Dan. Meddling fool! Encumber us no more! Don't you have a greater encumbrance to worry about? Come on! This is your grand opportunity to get rid of me! Take him out and deactivate the device. Thanks, this never helps us fight. The abyss has come. This. Think you can get away? Teamwork is dreamwork. Peace be with you. Let's roll. Peace be with you. You ain't got nothing on me. You ain't got nothing. The truth. Come into be. The truth shall set you free. Let's light it up. Atta boy. Hear ye. Everybody the stand back. Joy. The grace be upon you. Shall set you free. Let's light it up. Hear ye the word of joy. Let's roll. Let's light it up. I'm going in. Yeah. The truth shall set you Ow. free. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Let's light it up! Door is opened on. What do we do now? The abyss lifter's gone, but the device won't stop. And half Dan. No. As long as the device is active, the cursed are rendered powerless. Only you can take on the abyss. If you value his sacrifice, then do not waste any more time here. See all these rays of light and portals. They must have installed several of these energy devices in various locations. Find them, quickly! So, we have to go through these abyss portals? Uh, hey, fight for Paimon! Off we go! Locked, how am I supposed to? Oh. Still within my threshold. Burst forth. suffering and all but this looks really trippy it looks cool it's so cool
Oh, it's just repeated. It's just the same image repeated. You got the little three stars at the bottom, the three stars on the side. And that one's got the three stars on the side, three stars on the bottom. Use Venti Burst on it? I didn't do anything. Oh, Burst. Not his element. Time for takeoff. Is that what you wanted? It didn't do anything. Here we go. Oh, what were you hoping it would do? Why is it so low? Uh, I don't know. Oh shit. Oh, thank you. Thank you for bringing me back up there. You wanted the black hole to be the black hole. Oh. <laughs> Feel this ancient power. It's showtime. So trippy. Can't stop looking at it and turning my camera. <laughs> have to go through this if it's just right there. Can't I just do this? Come into beam! Attaboy! Everybody stand back! Yahoo! <laughs> Witness my great undertaking! Want some of this? Oh, coming through! Okay, it's gone dark all around now. Shall we head back to the room in the center? Oh yeah, the treasure's inside there, but I can't get it yet. That's right. burning sensation has indeed stopped. So, we managed to stop the Abyss Order's plan? <sighs> Let me check. Dang must be really upset. <sighs> of all the ways to be reunited with one of his former comrades after so long, this is rough. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Just... Let's go. Someone's friend dies, and <laughs> just imagining someone else being like, they must be really upset. It's like, yeah, no shit. Huh? Has he become so huh? then? Light.
Huh. Apologies, Captain Dainsliff, Twilight Sword. Back then, I failed you and failed to protect our people. <laughs> no. For 500 years, you have faithfully done your duty. To this day, I am proud of you all. <sighs> didn't fall, did it? Since you're still here. Do you have a crush on Correct. this guy? Get some. Fresh, cute. Look at that. He just looks like an NPC that they put fancy clothes on. So, no need to revive the homeland. You think that guy was hotter was than Ayata? So. No, no. He's just an NPC face that they put fancy clothes on. Ayato's still better. More than one kind of strange power exists here. Souls are no strange sight under the circumstances. Still, if you intend to venture deeper in and continue your investigation, you ought to be careful. <coughs> you bet! We'll be super careful! Oh, but dang! Does this mean you're not coming with us? That device took a severe toll on me. It will take me some time to recover. There's about a oh, hundred other people right. in this game well, that look like that. Actually, Baiman already knew that. You've clearly been pushing through the pain this whole time. You've earned a good rest, Dane. Oh, you should take a vacation! <laughs> vacation? <laughs> the very notion. This word has no business being in my vocabulary. There are more important things that demand my attention. The Loom of Fate operation is still underway, and I suspect that these amplification devices are connected to that plan. Thank you for understanding. I only hope that next time we meet, you know whose side you're on. Sheesh! He sure knows how to hold a grudge! Saving that snide remark right until the end! I mean, well, we did say that we didn't that we him. didn't get to see your brother again. But at least we learned some useful info, huh? As long as you keep pressing on with your journey, you guys will definitely meet again. And everything will be back to normal. Right? Oh, Paimon almost forgot. The real reason we came here was to investigate what was going on with the hill trills, wasn't it? We've probably seen enough to report back to the miner now. But, ugh... How are we going to explain it to him? This is all way too complicated for regular people to understand. Uh, eh, we'll figure it out. Just don't forget about the commission when we're done here. <laughs> that was it. That was so short. Shit. I think he needs to go out. <laughs> well, damn, that was like nothing. Now I'm all out of story mission. You're making him bark. What'd you say? Oh.
I guess my cow doesn't know how to Can't catch me! Attaboy! Oh, never mind. I was gonna be Bennett if that guy... Oh, he's a level 60 Bennett. <laughs> Maybe I should have been Bennett. I was gonna say, if he wants to be, um... Xiao, I can be Bennett. a lot longer. Uh, I guess that's not very good, but we'll keep it anyway. I need six more before we can upgrade that again. Do 
I have another fillet made? Oh, it's our five already, though. All right. Four central hearts. That's about all we can do now, except for story um, hangouts. That's pretty much all I have left. These, which I don't really particularly feel like delving into at the moment. I just realized that my sister messaged me an hour ago. God damn it. <laughs> See, I think I'm gonna cut it for now because I've run out of resin. another while and I've also run out of the event to do and I've also run out of main story to do. <laughs> this is a sad fate that Genshin has for its players. I 
<laughs> the real end game. Yeah, I don't know either. Alrighty, but depending on what my sister wants to play, if she's still down, maybe I'll stream that. I don't know, maybe we'll play some DVD or something. But for now, I'm gonna take off. Thank you everyone for me. hanging out. Thank you, get some for your tips and tricks on Bennett. And I guess I'll see y'all later. <laughs>